was just all the kneading of the bread and the bread was kind of rising up and, and sort of rolling over the edges of the, of the mixing machine. Yeah, everybody went to kill us. And the school children, it was chocker with school children. They did a jolly good job because killer's bread was brilliant, especially their hot cross buns. I'm Steve Pepper and this is Pepper's Scottish Bakery. Pies is our main product at the moment. We still do the cakes, we still do scones and custards and the variety on the market. I worked at Howard's at Cromford. When you ran out of something, you would borrow it from another baker. So I remember Mr. Howard, Cecil Howard, he would say, can you go up to Killers and pick up a box of fruit where we've run out? We used to go into the side of Killers, which was the store. And uh, I can remember this big old black range was all still in there and all the stuff all piled up around it. And uh, they would just get your box out and then you go and then you'd return it. We lived next door to the bakery at 6 St Mary's Gate and I think we moved there late 1945. We always had the smell of bread overnight. We started I think about 2 o'clock in the morning and started baking. I do remember them actually delivering flour and it was a hundred weight and these men were covered in flour carrying it up the passageway between the house up to the bakehouse at the back. Mrs. Killer was incredibly smartly turned out. She always looked superb when she was walking in the street. It was her business. I don't know how long it had been going, but her son was the baker and the son's wife, they, they baked. Oh, Pam, Pam Griffiths. She was fabulous. She was so warm and friendly and she would give Loads of children, any child that came in, she'd give them a bum, you know. She knew how to get people to come into the shop. She was just lovely, lovely. One aspect of Killers, which again I recall from early times living on West End, was their Morris Thousand van, which was their bread delivery van. It was always a treat to go out and see what cakes they'd got in the cake trays in the bread delivery van, which parked just opposite Bowling Green Lane. I lived on Cromford Road and Killers would deliver to a little shop on the corner on Cromford Road by Suff Lane and the Miss, two Miss Taylors had that and so our bread was delivered there even though it was just baked here so people on Cromford Road didn't even have to walk into town to get their bread. Everybody made different bread. So you weren't in competition. Killer's bread was unique to them. Howard's bread was unique. So you didn't have to worry about it, like, oh, we're better than them, or, or they're doing this and we should be doing it, or we want their customers. There was never anything like that. It was always a nice atmosphere and, and a good, friendly um, support to each other. Mm -hmm. 